what is up guys it is josh back with another video and in today's tutorial like you probably saw in the intro i have three free presets for both davinci resolve and after effects for build ups for your fortnite montages quickly before the video starts i just want to say that over 60 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet so make sure to drop us up it is 100 percent free for you guys to do and we're grinding super hard to 50k subscribers and i also want to mention i just dropped one of the best editing packs for davinci resolve and after effects that you guys can pick up for a low price of 15 dollars it includes everything you'll ever need for editing such as presets practice clips i didn't templates text templates literally anything you could ever imagine needing so make sure to check out the description for the link to that all right guys so i'm in a brand new davinci resolve project i just got a clip right here and we have velocity on it if you guys don't know how to add velocity lucky for you guys i just dropped a tutorial yesterday at the time of uploading this video on how to actually add velocity to both after effects and davinci resolve so check that out that'll be in the description but all the presets you guys will need for this video for the buildups are going to be in a google drive linked in the description so also be sure to check that out download all of them just so you can follow along with the tutorial but the first thing we're going to do just make sure you have your settings in 1920 by 1080 60 fps so for all these we're actually just going to drag in an adjustment clip and we're just going to trim it on the actual kill and we need it to actually last from this point to this point so for this we're just going to go 40 frames back for all of these so we can see it's at 26 so we just do some basic math we need to go 40 frames back so that'll be at 46 exactly so we're just going to go back to 46 right here should be good and we're just going to trim it so it lasts from 40 frames before all the way to the kill just like this and that's exactly what we need so we're just going to go into the fusion tab of this adjustment layer and we can see that we have all of the presets here i have the after effects ones right here uh, so the first thing i'm going to show you is this warp shake build up you just drag it in just like this and all you got to do is disconnect these and drag in these arrows to actually connect them whoops it didn't actually connect you just drag it in like this you do need the sapphire plugins and the bcc plugins for this so make sure to install those i'll have links to that in the description the unfortunate thing is though is sometimes the keyframes don't actually line up with what we're looking for so we got to bring up the keyframe menu right here and you can just see that the keyframes are offset just a tiny bit so we're just going to zoom in right here we're going to select these keyframes and we're just going to drag them over just like this and you can bring this keyframe in just like that and then we'll bring that one just like this and what that'll do we can see that it starts to shake with the warp just like that perfect and you can see just by dragging them over it actually ended up lining it up and we'll go back out here you can see that it does a nice little stretch build up warp pump perfect and you can add any of the you can mix these up if you want it's completely up to you but we're actually just going to get rid of this one right here i'm going to show you the next one right here we're going to show you i'm going to show you this uh i'm going to show you the dark vignette build up thing right here so we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect them connect it like this connect it like that and then we're gonna go to the keyframe menu and we're actually just going to drag these on over just like this and just like that and drag this one over just like that drag this one over just like that and if you want to you can just uh just like this and you can see that it adds a nice little build up with a shake it darkens with a nice little vignette around the edges like i said and these i use for my own videos so you can see it darkens build up boom nice little shake obviously you're gonna have an impact here so it will look a lot better in terms of actually the impacts all that stuff but we're actually just going to delete this one and this one you're actually going to need to follow along with super carefully because i know it may seem a bit difficult if you aren't actually following along with it so make sure you uh, follow along with this one so we're actually going to drag in the looks build up start point the thing about davinci is it tends to crash when you try to preset so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to work around this so we're just going to drag our keyframes over here for the actual preset just like this and we'll see that it goes like that perfect and all we're going to do for this is from this tab right here we're going to look up looks right here we're going to drag that over top and you're also going to need to download the color correction preset i'll have in the description i'll have a couple of them if you want to use it uh, but i'm going to be using the godly red one which i'll have in there by the way if you guys look right here literally all these color corrections for the different colors are all in my edit pack if you want to check that out uh, completely up to you guys but i'm going to keyframe the strength at the very beginning we can go about 20 frames to the right should be good you can keyframe it at 100 or if it's too intense you can break it down just a tiny bit i'm gonna go 100 but what this uh preset's meant to do is it's meant to have the shake in the vignette underneath the magic bullet looks so the magic bullet looks goes over top 
and that's actually part of the build up itself it's just it doesn't work in fusion tab half the time but i hope this improves the quality of your montages and allows you to have kind of have a more uh, immersive experience before the uh, kills in your Fortnite montages with that being said i'm going to move on to the after effects portion and i'll see you guys if you're going to stick around for that all right guys so i am in a brand new after effects project right here we just have a clip with velocity and just a standard impact on it by the way this impact is in my uh edit pack if you want to check that out and then we can see right here that we have the uh, Twixer Velocity that I showed in yesterday's video on how to actually add Velocity to your Fortnite montages. So be sure to check that out as well if you want to see that. Uh, but pretty much all it, or pretty much all you got to do for this is just press Control Y on your keyboard. Just add an adjustment layer before the kill. Uh, we're going to adjust the length afterwards. But just select it. Go to Animation. Go to Apply Animation Preset. And I'm just going to click on one of these right here. So we're just going to start with a dark god vignette build up so just press u on your keyboard and what we're going to do is we're going to drag it on over so it actually ends up lining up with the kill these three points right here and then what you can do is you can drag it out just a bit if it works a lot better for you but you can see what it does i keep on automatically pressing save we're just going to actually do this i'm actually just going to save it's called uh build up tutorial always make sure that you're saving your project by the way guys that's why i have muscle memory meant for it we're just going to go like this and we can see that it has a nice little shake before the and kill then you also got to add the black and white color correction right here by just going to your edits and then you'll see that you could just add the color correction right here depending on which one uh, but i just add the black and one but just add the black and white one right here and then what this will do it fades in and we can see it zooms in fades color boom vignettes around the edges shake and then kill just like that but uh yeah make sure to just uh do that and then if you want the other one so i'll just uh go up, press on do real quick and we'll do for example we're gonna do the looks build up insane and i'm just gonna drag these keyframes over to actually line it up with our uh, adjustment layer right here and what this will do is it fades in our actual thing so make sure that you keyframe the uh, strength at the beginning at zero and then it will fade to 100 and then what this one does kind of does the exact same thing a bit darker and we can see that it's this nice little godly red magic bullet looks i'll have uh this in the description if you want to download this one i'll also have like a black and orange one that i use in my over edits if you want to pick that up too that'll just be in the description down below by the way my edit pack has all of the color corrections i use for all my videos so make sure to check that out and lastly i'm actually just going to press undo to actually get rid of this the last preset i got to cover is the actual uh warp dark build up just like this we're going to press u on our keyboard we're just going to drag these all over right here and what this does it does almost the exact same thing it's just a nice little warp build up just like this and it has a nice little pre-shake and a vignette around the edges be sure to also install the bcc sapphire plugins and the looks plugins just so you're able to use all the presets in the video so that's pretty much gonna be it for the video guys i did put a lot of effort into actually making these presets for you guys for 100 free so make sure to show some love by dropping a sub if you are new to the channel or dropping a like i'm daily posting working super hard so make sure to support me i hope you guys do enjoy and i'll see you guys later peace out